last time. Can you make it 2-0 against Melbourne? I hope so. Uh, it's going to be tough. Um, they're a talented team. They have so many weapons. So we're going to be locked in from the start. Um, you know, we kind of got up on them last game, and they fought back and tied it and had a chance to win. So we're going to have to be locked in for 40 minutes and uh, try to disrupt them on the, on the defensive end, uh, take things away. And uh, it's probably easier said than done, but we'll do our best. What do you make of the guard, task of guarding Mallow and containing him? You wouldn't have played him in college or anything. No, you know, no. He's a pretty fast guy. No, no, he's tough. Um, you know, especially in the first game, I kind of got in foul trouble in those first minutes. So I'm going to have to do a better job of that, of staying out of foul trouble and, you know, containing him. Um, but we have a great game plan, so we're just going to have to execute and, like I said, try to take things away. You're shooting pretty hot at the moment. Is this sort of, is this your average or even you feeling <laughs> like you're a little bit hot at the moment? Uh, I feel like I'm a little bit hot at the moment. Uh, you know, I wish this could be my average, but you know, I'm I'm just taking what the defense gives me, trying to be aggressive. Uh, like I've said before, my my teammates and my coaching coaching staff have given me the confidence to go out there and take those shots. So I'm gonna do that every time, and um, you know, so far so good. Yeah, I think the number is you've shot the most threes of anyone in the first five weeks of NBL. Mm -hmm. um, what do you, is it just your teammates or just the team letting you guys shoot a lot of threes? Yeah. What's up? Uh, I think a little bit of both. Um, like I said, I'm trying to read the defense. And uh, we play with a lot of pick and roll, a lot of ball screens. My, my guys are setting great screens for me to get open. So, uh, I mean, the, the basket is, is open for me right now. It's, I'm getting good looks. So. I guess we typically see this league, once everyone gets a little bit of a crack, they scout real well and they start to crack down on that. Is that something you guys are preparing for, that they're maybe going to throw some different stuff at you yeah, yeah. Um, after how you've started? Absolutely. Um, I mean, we're playing great teams with great coaches, so they're going to try to take that away from us. But we're, I mean, we're, we're ready. You know, we're ready for the, we have plan B, plan C. We have things that we can go to if they take things away. So we're prepared. How's the team handling the sort of the day to day of the season now? Because you had the hot start, mm -hmm. bounce back nice in the weekend. Mm -hmm. How they sort of handle it? Yeah, we're focused. Um, we have great preparation. We watch a lot of film. Um, get a lot of work in on the court and in the weight room. So our bodies feel good. We're fresh, we're ready to go. I'm just going to ask you about Damon Vino as well. He, um, he didn't get a lot of minutes last year mm -hmm. in Sydney. What have you seen from him and what's he done for you? So Man, he's, he's playing tremendous. He's uh, giving us that energy um, on the offensive and the defensive end. He's everywhere. I mean, he's getting offensive rebounds. We kind of joked last game because I was living off of him. He's getting those offensive rebounds and kicking them out to me. So I'm like, man, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, he's just, I mean, a big, big um, spark for us. And, I mean, we love him. His shooting needs some work. Have you thought of taking him aside and <laughs> some tutorials? No, I mean he's he's playing his role at the uh, the best way he can, and that's you know hustling, getting rebounds. He's finishing around the basket. Um, he's playing great for us, so we just need him to continue to do what he's doing. Tell us a bit more about Mitch Creek as a teammate and how the culture around the team and that kind of thing that he's brought, his NBA and NBL experience. Great teammate, man. One of the best teammates I've ever had. He's, he's always trying to help guys. He's very uh, outspoken and communication is I mean, off the charts. He's always, you can see he's a student of the game. He's really smart, really smart player. Um, and he's, you know, one of our leaders, you know, so having him out there just helps everyone. Does his attitude change coming into a throw-down, like a rivalry game like this? No, nah, I mean, he, he treats every game the same. Uh, he's, he's always on 10. He's ready to go, focused. Um, so, I mean, we're going to treat this game like any other game. We're, we're showing up to win.